washing room can be a bear. This part of hand washing where you're scrubbing your fingertips, that is Go ahead. Over, over. Come on, you're okay. I wish my hair would stay back like yours does. It's the ears. It's the ears. <laughs> it's the ear, the ear helps it stay back. Hair spray. <laughs> <laughs> but this piece of hand washing right here, the thing, good, cleaning the fingers and the thumb thing, this is not counted in the 20 seconds. Mm. It is not counted. Mm, wow. So if you'll follow along in your little green book, let's look at that. Um, tell me what step number that is, because I don't remember the step number. Six, okay. And if you'll notice, it's a separate step. And look right above six and look at five. Number five says that you got to wash your hands, your wrists, your fingers, your blah, blah, blah. Be sure they're getting those wrists for 20 seconds. And the evaluators are supposed to time them. So it's not, um, you know, when it feels like it's clean. And as far as advising them about singing a birthday song or whatever, if you do that, be sure you time it. <laughs> because the evaluators are now timing mm -hmm. that 20 second hand wash. So if they're doing this business, you know, they're going here and then they start to do this, they're gonna stop the clock or mm -hmm. stop counting. And then, you know, it really does mess them up. So it's easier for the candidate and the evaluator if they just don't even get into that finger business until after that 20 seconds. Okay. So that's a, that's a biggie on that one. Um, and that's the, then five is a critical element on that one. I think that number five is that 20 seconds is critical. So after all that you all do for these kids to learn of this stuff, it is it would be just a shame for them to be hand washing. It hadn't been too bad for us, but y'all, these are the days where we cannot take for granted that we're going to maintain that 80% that we had the last six months because this test ain't no joke. Sunday and I think I had two past all mm -hmm. Now these were not high school people because I don't test high school people if I know it. But it still was a pretty good barometer of the difficulty of the skills. I had six on Sunday and I think I had ten on Saturday. So two of sixteen. Wow. wow. Yep. All right, so um, let's y'all get where you can see and um, they're right. They're way over there, and I'm sorry. That's, that's just how. It, that's how they do it. Oh, there's none in there. Ah. Uh. Maybe. And what I'm about to say, I think, will help you in getting them ready for these other skills when it comes to testing. You all are smart people, and that's almost our. I won't say problem, but. You know, it's just like the Bible says, your weakness can be your strengths, and your strengths can be your weakness kind of thing. Well, y'all are so smart, and you pack so much into their heads that when they come for testing, they're trying to remember everything the same you see it. This past weekend, I had a guy, and where the test site had a roll of paper towels mounted right here, which is fine. It was just kitchen paper towels. And he was trying to take his arm and roll that paper towel <laughs> down, and he was just doing all kinds of gyrations, so he wouldn't touch anything with his hands. And I thought to myself, well, that's a good teaching point right there. Good hand washing is not sterile. They're not going to the operating room. It's just plain good hand washing. Mm -hmm. So if we get them too revved up, they're going to spend a lot of unnecessary time. And the way some of the skills are grouped now, some of them, some people are not finishing. Now, I contend they're not finishing because they don't know what they're doing. But do need to bear in mind that some of these skills are grouped so that you got some heavy ones, more than one heavy one in a, in a, in a set, which is there's nothing we can do about that right now, except for acknowledge it and help them to be time efficient when they're, when they're testing. So try to avoid the up here. Now you're teaching up here, we're testing down here, or used to test down here, now we're testing here. So when they're going for that test, you need to help them remember that it is a test. They haven't gone into their practice yet. I mean, they're not doing the sterile stuff up here. They're down here. So we don't want to get them hyped up about steps that are not written in that book. Does it say how you get the paper towels? Mm -hmm. No. Does it say you got to do it a certain way? No. So if they want to just pull them down, you know, whatever they want to do, just don't give them the fear of God about touching the, the paper when they're written. 
All right. Tell them to take their watch off. Uh, I don't know why people um, are asking me when they come to test, because I sure can't tell them. But if they'll just get a barrier and put their watch down. Now, I know that that's not a step in there, and I just said don't you know, add steps. However, I noticed that if they don't have a plan for what to do with their watching rings, then they get to the sink and they like, should I, should I, uh, should I, uh, should I. And I know you told them, I know you told them, but tell them when they go for testing, put them a paper towel around if they got watches and rings, put it over there and just get it until they get done. All right, we got our paper towels. Got to get this water going. Here's something else I'm beginning to see a lot of. Oh, wow. I'm seeing a lot of that. And if you missed it, let me show you again. They take one hand to get the water. They take the other hand to get the soap, and they put them. What, what step number does it say wet thoroughly? So if they do that, they're going to miss that step. Now, they need to get plenty. And for some reason, they think once they touch it one time, they can't touch it again. It's like it's... <laughs> <laughs> you know, tell them to pump that rascal until they get adequate soap, so they want a good lather, and they won't get those ribs. I hope somebody's counting. I am. I'm not that good. <laughs> now remember, those hands have got to be down. We would have we had workshop in uh, smoke off. She forgot what county we had. Anyway, west of you, northern part of the state, but west of east of you. And one of the teachers was so short when she came to the sink through her hand washing her hands were just like this. Oh, wow. I've got one like that this semester with five and Get them on the stool. Yeah. Get them on the stool. So that their hands are at their elbow level, they're not going to get credit for that step. So those hands have got to be managed. Some, of, some, people, some teachers are... Um, have experience in the operating room and it carries over. And so the teachers will tell them to raise their hands and drop from the fingertips this way. That's surgical stuff. We ain't doing that. We just do a plain old hand wash. And you know what? I'm not real sure if I did my fingers good. And that's something I want you to go over with your kids over and over again. They can correct themselves as many times as they want to. There's few exceptions and I'll think about those as we go along. Who it is that they go. Okay, I think I'm good now. Don't matter what I think, what it matters is what y'all think. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying from the fingertips down, I'm just getting it dry. Cheryl, will you get up and get the trash can at the door over there? I'm sorry. I meant to get it for you. I know we're running a lot of water, but I'm doing it just like they got to do it. It's okay. And yes, I reached up there and touched that thing, but does it say anything about you can't touch the countertop? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm going to say that so many times that you're going to be sick of it. Is it written or is it not? Mm -hmm. Is it written or is it not? Okay. So, and then I turned my water off with my spigot. Now, look through that. Y'all are going to evaluate me, because I'll probably make mistakes. Um, I won't make any of them just because I'm trying to make one. If I make one, just because I made it. So, um, anything in hand washing, what's our takeaways from that skill? At least 20 seconds, when it, when it counts, when it doesn't count. Right. This and fingertip stuff don't count. So, we're, we're not worried about going all the way up here. No, ma'am. Okay. We're just a good, the Rest. width of your hand okay. is, is, okay. is good. The width of your hand is great, but they've got to get those ribs. Complete 20 seconds and then do the fingertips. Complete 20 and then do the fingertips. And the evaluators are supposed to be timing with a clock. Okay, so they may be looking at their own watch or they may have a kitchen timer or a digital timer or something. Yeah. Um, I can tell you, if you've, got a, if you've got one of these phones that has a really good timer on it, mm -hmm. and, so, and it's easy for them to see. All right. Can I ask a generic question? Yes, you can. Because sometimes with the evaluators, the students are saying that 
they're they're challenging some of what they're doing that's not part of the steps. Now this is not this year, but in the years past, just in the com general comments that I've heard students say. You mean you like the, the students are saying that if the, they do something, it's not in The there. students are saying that the evaluators may have been saying to them, well, you know, you should have done it this way or you should have done it that way, but yet it's not written in the book that way. Yeah. The evaluators are not supposed to have any comment to them. They're not supposed to give them any feedback whatsoever. None. Zero. And that's one of the hardest things that I have to deal with when I'm evaluating is because y'all know I like to give feedback and I like people to... I just like to give feedback. Because you're that's a teacher. You're you know, a that's teacher. You're a teacher. But um, it's gotten to the point with me that I have I have written out a little piece of paper and I go over with them like instructions that says, as an AC evaluator, I cannot go over your results with you. Um, so, however, know that the numbers that are on the skills, if you missed any, correspond to the numbers in your book. And if you have any further questions, call Macy's. Because otherwise, I just, you know, they're ripped up, and I want to help them because I'm a high school teacher. Mm -hmm. But they can't. They're not supposed to give them any feedback whatsoever because it is a summative assessment, not formative. It's okay. summative, which is. Okay. All right, y'all good with hand washing? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your next gift? Yeah. 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 Yeah.